share with you for this uh, for today, and we'll have a little bit of a, a, a QA session. I want to talk to you about something I heard at the ISNA convention that that struck a chord with me, and I thought it was it was very powerful. It was presented by uh, Professor Ingrid Madsen, and she talked about the difference between a cult and a community. So this is the last thing I'm sharing with you: the difference between a cult and a community. A community is a place where everybody's welcome. And diversity is appreciated. The fact that you are different is a good thing. Because it adds to the texture and the depth and the richness of the community. A cult, however, demands that everybody be exactly the same. They should talk the same, they should dress the same, they should look the same, they should act the same. It's like this uniform thing. That's a cult. Now, in a community, when somebody makes a mistake, you know, Muslims, we make mistakes. Somebody makes, you know, falls into sin. Somebody veers off the path. What a community does, is it nurtures them and says, look, we all make mistakes, let me help you. And they can bring you back. And they can support you until you're back on your feet again. In other words, the community travels together, and when somebody trips and falls, there are others who can pick you up and take you along. In a cult, when somebody makes a mistake, they're kicked out. Well, they're, they're not, there's no tolerance. You got out of line, you're done. You're finished. In a community, you have this idea that when you, you want to engage and help, help people understand themselves better by open conversation. You want to be able to ask questions without being afraid of uh, you know, criticism. So for example, one of you has the right to ask me a question that you know, other people might look at them, how could you ask that question? How dare you say that? No, actually you can ask a question, you shouldn't be afraid to ask questions and to get clarifications because the community supports the idea of open communication. There should be, no, nothing is taboo, we should be able to ask whatever we want to ask without being, without being afraid of being judged, right? In a cult, you're not allowed to ask questions. If you ask certain questions, how dare you? You should be ashamed of yourself. Why don't you become like everybody else, a robot? Right? So this idea of keeping uniformity. And finally, in a community, you have the urge to want to not only understand ourselves, but to understand our neighbors. So we'll go over to the church, we'll go over to the fire station, we'll go over to our neighbors and invite them over to us. And we'll say, tell us about your faith, we'll tell you about ours. You know? وَتَعَاوَنُوا عَلَى الْبِرِّ وَالتَّقْوَى Cooperate with each other in good, good things and in taqwa. You can do that. You can even, even agree to certain things with them. You know? So the, now, you, a community would like to reach out and to be, be known and to identify itself as someone who can serve others. A cult, however, hates outside communication. They want to be isolated, cut off from everybody else. And what a cult does to their members, it tells them don't listen to anybody else because they'll mess you up. The only way you'll stay safe is if you listen to us. We've got the right Islam. Everybody else is deviant and out, you know, they'll, they'll, they'll put waswasa and mess up your aqidah and this and that. So don't listen to this speaker, don't go to that convention, don't go to that masjid, don't go here, don't go there, don't go there, don't go there. Because it'll all be, you know, you'll, you'll, you'll get lost. We're trying to keep you safe. Right, so the cult tries to keep its members bubbled and outside the rest. And actually I said finally, but this is the most important one, so finally. A community, one of its fundamental functions is to help the family become stronger. So in a community, it trains you to become a better father, a better husband, a better wife, a better son, a better daughter, a better neighbor. It makes you develop better relationships. Right? That's what a community does. You know what a cult does? It cuts you off from your family. You have conflicts in the house, you have disagreements and arguments, you have the, the home turns into a battlefield. Why? Because you're trying to turn your family, your family doesn't agree with your cult, so the family became the enemy. And the cult will even come and say, your family is a fitna. You should, you know, they're, they're dunya. We're calling you the deen. So